Alrighty guys, welcome back to that Let's Play on Near Automata. We just got finished and now I already transported us to the start of the next mission. Um, we have to do some reconnaissance. Apparently, I guess now we found out about aliens. So, we're right now, uh, we got the sexy 2B. This hallway looks pretty old. You know, doing her thing. And I let y'all do that. That was nothing. Um basically we're just kinda investigating right now. I guess these aliens. Oh my gosh, this thing has a drill just like the other guy. that they'd make a lot of different robots all these dead machines seems like they've been here for a long time yeah they definitely did tree seed all right let's see what, the, what is this oh. place? I, I don't know there's, there's nothing like it in the database it's cool Cutscene. What they got for you, boy? Ooh. Are they dead? To be. Look, look. Just destroyed alien motherships. Welcome. Welcome. <laughs> to, the to the graveyard of our creators. Is it those guys? What the flip? Is those? It is. You. To be. Look out. My. Eh? Huh? Can I kill him yet? Relax, Eve. We're still negotiating here. Bye. My name is Adam. The aliens you seek are no longer here. They were wiped out centuries ago. By us. The machines. Wiped out? And who knows? Perhaps we'll wipe out the androids next. Machines are weapons capable of evolution. We can grow. We can become aware. Eventually, the intelligence within our network began to surpass that of our creators. You'd probably be surprised at how quickly it happened. You destroyed your own creators? Oh, there's no need to fret about them. They were simple, infantile, almost like plants, I guess you'd say. They held what the heck? But the humans on the moon? They changed. They got stronger and smarter. Because they, they know what the heck. They killed unaccountable numbers of their own kind, and yet loved equal measure. It's fascinating, don't you think? What could possibly drive such behavior? We have dedicated ourselves to oh my gosh, to be get out of here and allow you to assist us. We were made in their image, after all. It's simple. We need you to locate the humans on the moon and bring them to us. We will then dissect and analyze them. What? Drag their secrets forth into the light. Surely you see the attraction in this. Are you insane? We'd never do that. Can you believe this to be? This guy's bonkers. Well... I suppose this concludes negotiations. The only remaining option is to destroy you. The same way we destroyed these pathetic little aliens. 
Dude, they they've gotten so freaking strong, dude. This year, this is the fate that befell our creators. As for your beloved humans, I guess we'll see, won't we? <laughs> the flip, dude. They're gone. How do you... The aliens were already dead. dead. Yeah. yeah. We better, we better get, back get back to the bunker. To the bunker. This way again? What a pain. Stop, Stop complaining. Why? Yeah. How else are we supposed to get out of here, dude? This is Operator 6 0. We now have an operational transporter in the city ruins. We're attempting to deploy them at other points as well. About time we had access to those. Care to fill me in? Transporters? They let you transfer your consciousness to a temporary body back in the bunker. I heard some tech guys talking about it a while ago, but I didn't know they finally got it working. How's it hanging? You again. Your commander told me to build a new access point, so here you go. Oh, and I got the stupid transporter up and running too. Um, thank you? I've known the commander for a while now. She sure is good at pawning work off on people. Next, Next time you see her, give her, her some lip for me, will ya? Oh! So this has a transporter now, huh? Still, transporters are pretty handy. They're way faster than flight units when it comes to traveling between Earth and the bunker. Flight units also leave us open to attack, and they're expensive to operate, too. She's back. I have a feeling that probably happened. Okay, no killing her, please. Um. Oh, it's not an SM2B. It has a thousand machines cost to the rockets, don't you think? We need to talk. Of course. I'll help however I can. Village. Are there any other machines that are cut off from the network? I suppose that unless the songstress you so kindly defeated the amusement park wasn't part of the network. You mean that singing thing? Oh, of course there's the Forest Kingdom, but it's Forest Kingdom? Yes. It's a vast urban area not far from here. There's a group of machines there attempting to build a nation of sorts. They're quite hostile to outsiders, however. Where is it? East of the city ruins. You should be able to reach it by passing through the ruins of the commercial facility. If you go, however, be careful. Things have been rather rough there lately. This forest kingdom sounds like something we should check out. All right. So cool. We're gonna be going to a new area.
Another machine. Say to be. What? When do you think you'll be willing to call me nines? 9S works just fine. Well, yeah, but... Man, this job can be pretty rough sometimes, huh? We don't get to choose our assignments. And you should work on keeping your opinions in check. You're hard allowed to be emotional, remember? I think some of us are better at that than others. Yeah, obviously 2B is one of them. She feel, it feels like she doesn't sometimes has no emotion whatsoever. She is cold to the bone. This must be the commercial structure Pascal was talking about. The records say it was once a facility known as a shopping center. No getting through here. Maybe, Maybe there's, there's some, some kind of mechanism we could engage? What's that? If we were human, we probably would have gone shopping and such here, right? More meaningless conjecture. <laughs> if you're so serious, 2B, you know that? Oh. Who the heck is the Forest King? You're getting distracted. Well, what do you expect? I'm a scanner. Combat was never meant to be my forte. change my layout real quick because I turns out I don't like that this X okay 
this game just gets weirder and weirder by the second.